Today I'm going to show you how to make putu cheese. When I was growing up, putu cheese was basically made with egg white. It was like an angel cake, but it is steamed and it is uh, served in cupcake size. Today, I will show you my version of the original putu cheese. You need two cups all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup of sugar, one and one-fourth cups water, two tablespoons baking powder, one half teaspoon salt, one teaspoon vanilla, five egg whites or about three-fourths cup, one-fourth cup sugar, one-fourth teaspoon cream of tartar. You put together all-purpose flour, three-fourths cup of sugar. The other sugar will go to the egg whites. Then you have baking powder. You have salt. You mix this together. Make sure you sift the flour before you measure. Then we will add vanilla and water. All right, mix this. All right, if you don't see any lumps, you can stop now. And then here, if you'll see, uh, if you'll notice, the mixture is a little bit heavy, okay? Then we have here egg whites, cream of tartar. We beat it until it starts to foam, and then we add the sugar. You whip this at uh, number eight, not at very high speed. And then you whip this until medium stiff, not very, very stiff, okay? Okay, like this. All right. We will start with one third, okay? You can do this. The first step is to just to lighten the mixture. Because remember, the mixture was medium thick, so we need to lighten it first. So it's easy for us to incorporate the egg whites. Okay, go slow. Okay. And then, the second, one third doesn't have to be exact, as long as you add it in three additions. And then we'll switch to the rubber scraper because the mixture is already light. You can continue with the wire whisk, but there's a tendency you will over mix, okay? So, I will finish this with a rubber scraper. In this recipe, vanilla is optional. You may opt not to put vanilla. But you know, vanilla takes out the uh, eggy smell from the uh, egg whites. Okay, hold. All right. We have here, you can uh, put them in photo cups or you can put them in the lianera. If you have a small steamer, please do only have a recipe because this mixture cannot wait. Then I will put uh, cheese. This is cheddar cheese. If you want to put the melting cheese, put it uh, two minutes before it's cooked. Okay, let's put this in the steamer. All right. Then you cover this, the top with a cloth so that the steam will not fall on the food. Okay, let's steam this for about eight minutes and then eight to ten minutes then I'll check, okay? I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Here's our puto cheese. Uh, you check it the same way you check cake if it's clean. 
I steam this only for about 10 minutes. Okay, then you remove this and then cool. Don't over steam because it will shrink. 